The SEC continues to delay the Bitcoin spot ETF for all applicants. What the heck is going on? So we had two days ago, we had this huge crazy pump. And then yesterday we had this crazy dump because the SEC is not approving any of the applicants right now, guys. Welcome back to the Crypto Blue Show. Thank you for being here with me today. I'm Kiara DeCast and I have been pumping here for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I am busy having a cup of tea while I do this video for you guys. So cheers to you. Happy Friday afternoon. Blessings to all of you beautiful souls. Guys, this is going to be a very short, quick, updated video. I just want to go through a few things with you. So today the market cap is still under 1.1 trillion. We're down 3.5% for the day. Bitcoin is sitting at 25,815, down 4% for the day since the drop. You can see we erased those gains up there. Ethereum at 1633. Don't worry about the rest of the coins for, for today. And the Fear and Greed Index is sitting at 40. As you can see, there's are my, my bliss bubbles, my crypto bubbles. So, um, you know, as you can see here, they're pretty much all in the green, guys, right? So all of my bubbles are in the green, except for Ordinal and Joe. Joe was pumping up 45% yesterday. Uh, and then now you can see it's dropping a little bit now. But if we have to go and look at the top 100 bubbles, let's go and look at the top 100 bubbles. We have quite a few in the green as well. So Ton is in the green, Rune is in the green, Casper is in the green. So, you know, Bitcoin falls, the rest of them jump. So... All right, guys, the SEC is delaying spot Bitcoin ETF decisions for all applicants, including BlackRock and Fidelity, guys. Um, so the regulator has now announced the delays for all six of the new ETF applications, which is a bunch of bullshit, as we all know, um, until October, making a decision on all the spot Bitcoin ETFs. Applications filed by applicants, including BlackRock, Wisdom Tree, Invesco Galaxy, Wise Origin, Van Eck, Bits, Bitwise, and Valkyrie Digital Assets earlier this year, to agency filings on Thursday. So the SEC began re reviewing the latest slate of applications from both crypto heavy and traditional finance firms like Wise Origin uh, or Fidelity, BlackRock, Invesco um, last month. So basically, guys, in a nutshell, what you can see here, Judge Naomi Rao writing for the unanimous court, the SEC's denial of the application was inconsistent with the approval of a pair of Bitcoin ETFs and did not explain why it viewed these types of products differently given the underlying Bitcoin market had a 99.9% .9 correlation. But between spot and futures, Bitcoin market prices. So if this is happening and there's a 99.9% .9 correlation between futures and spot, then guys, what the heck is the SEC doing? And not only were they pounded at the beginning of the week by the court, by um, Judge Naomi Rao and the three of them, there were three judges on the case, um, and they were basically told, well, I'm sorry, you guys actually have to get going here. So I don't know why they continued to um, postpone the rest of the applications, but I think it's because they're just trying to buy themselves that last little bit of time. So guys, do you believe, let me know down in the comments below, if you believe that there will be a Bitcoin spot ETF approved now before the end of the year? Or do you think it will be before the halving or after the halving? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what my community thinks, guys. And thank you for watching all my videos, guys. You can see that I've been doing some cool videos for you guys. Once again, I have an incredible video for you that will be out tomorrow afternoon. So make sure not to miss that one. Hit that notification and subscribe to the channel. But as you guys can see, Robinhood to buy back Sam Bankman Freed's stake for 605.7 million. So the 555 million hood shares were owned by SBF and fellow FTX co-founder Gary Wang through the Emergent Fidelity Technologies. So $605 million worth of stock previously owned by SBF is now going to be bought back by Robin Hood, which is absolutely amazing. So Robin Hood shares climbed around 3% to 1121 during the early Friday trading session. So this is pretty good positive news for uh, for Robin Hood and it means that they'll now be able to sell the crypto and raise more funds instead of leaving it in the hands of thieves, manipulators and liars. D sorry, did I say that aloud? Let me know if I said that aloud down in the comments below. I didn't mean to. All right. The trillion dollar crypto asset opportunity. Real world asset token tokenization and that's what RWAs stand for. Going by technology theorist Carla Tapere's research. WRAs may be the next phase of a substantive crypto development. So to cut a very long story short, 
basically what we can see here is that there was a dot com bubble burst and the new york Times declared that dot com is dot gone and dream with it so what happened after the dot com bubble guys we had some of the biggest economic expansion in history so in other words DeFi and nfts may leverage super technology but are transacted primarily with volatile small market cap digital assets so what we're trying to do is they're going to try and basically increase the two different periods in each great surge so installation period which is the turning point um, which is the big bang which is the pump and then the next big bang kind of starts before it starts curving and over time you will see that asset increase in value over time so to quote blackrock ceo larry fink the next generation for markets the next generation for securities will be tokenization of securities so i was actually just speaking to somebody right now that was talking to me about a an interesting project that is happening in dubai apparently it's dubai 2 i don't know i've never heard of it let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever heard of it but there's a dubai 2 coming and basically they are going to look at tokenization of REITs to so apparently with 100 percent backing from the dubai government they're going to create dubai 2 and there's something that's going to be an estate that is going to be created out in the dubai desert that is then going to be tokenized as a REIT. So in other words, you can own sh micro shares of it and you can own that. Let me know if you guys know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. I have never heard anything about it. I would love to know if you guys do know. S let me know or send me the link down below so that we can do our own research. So if Alice tokenizes her car and Bob buys the token, how can Bob be sure he will receive the car? Well, basically, uh, that's not something that blockchain can solve directly as it always involves some amount of human coordination and trust however there is an alternative more natively web3 way of addressing this problem so instead of tokenizing physical assets directly protocols can lock up parties commitments to execute a commercial exchange as a type of forward contract encoded within a smart contract and, and contracts and tokenized as redeemable nfts so in other words what this is going to be is if you go to the person you've paid for it you can go and redeem that asset but how does it protect the the person buying right well when a dispute happens it can be handled by an algorithm encoded within a smart contract that refers to the decentralized dispute resolvers the result is trust minimized tokenization exchange and settlement of rwas so very 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 powerful information happening let's go and see what the dixie is doing guys the dixie's got a hard on right now um, and the dixie is just absolutely going crazy here today so i just want to refresh these pages quickly these my charts let's go and have a look at the dixie guys the dixie on the one hour is pumping it out here Oof. so we did eventually find some support but guess what we're oversold in the rsi guys for me I personally do not see us pumping above this level. So I feel and I can tell you right now that this is going to become a resistance level. So are we going to just basically fail this pump or this rally and then push to the downside? Because as you can see, there's not much action that is happening there. And if I go and look at the NASDAQ and I see what the NASDAQ's doing on the same top on the same time frame. In fact, let's go back to the Dixie and let's look at the Dixie on the weekly time frame. So in the weekly time frame, I'm pretty confident that we have now pushed to a very extraordinarily oversold level. And for me, the way that we close the Dixie today is going to determine the way that Bitcoin will um, either pump or dump next week. So right now, it looks as though we're developing some sort of uh, reversal candle over here. Plus the RSI is indicating a downward slope. Plus there is a bit of bearish divergence over here. You can see here on the rsi when we look at that level you can see that that's um that's going the rsi is going up whereas the chart is coming down so yeah essentially you would call that bullish divergence but um you can see here that we've been reversed and hit by the 50 moving average there guys so let me know what you guys think down below but the nasdaq hitting a very very hard reversal right now very unhealthy level for it to be hitting a hard reversal at right now because obviously now that's starting to create a higher a lower high excuse me with volume coming in and the rsi turning to the downside guys that is starting to look a little bit unhealthy for the nasdaq which means that if stocks could be falling maybe that is why bitcoin also continues to fall now we had a huge golden cross over here with some crazy buy volume and a six thousand dollar candle here guys now what you can see is that we broke this level of support boom over here 
we failed we crashed and we pulled right back down to the support level right now we're currently trying to break these lows very very little action there trying to do that so guys for me we haven't broken this low here yet um at the twenty five thousand five hundred. the rsi is pulling down nice and gently which for me tells me that on your higher time frames if i go ahead and look on your four hourly time frame we still have not yet broken my box here but instead this was almost somewhat a fake out because we hit that resistance level that i was talking to you about over there with the 200 coming down plus this guys if you want to trade this with me make sure to go ahead and click on the pinned link in the comments down below as well as in the top of the description you guys can go ahead and trade this and um make a get a thirty thousand dollar deposit bonus with me if you use my private link and pinned in the comment will be my bitflex link which if you deposit a hundred dollars you get a ten percent bonus and you get yourself ten dollars there guys so coming back to the chart you can see this candle it took two candles to try and engulf that candle it didn't quite engulf that candle it took three candles plus then there was a huge reversal plus the rsi came to a very very strong halt right here if we go ahead and look on your daily time frame unfortunately the daily time frame does not look healthy at all and essentially on the daily time frame there was a bit of an engulf and you could look for this to maybe retest the bottom of this uh, chart which is at twenty five thousand which is actually where I've got a lot more buy entries in. And that is because as I've previously shown you on this particular chart, if we go and have a look at this particular chart on the daily time frame, you guys can see that right here, I have said to you that there is a resistance level, a resistance level and some support. So perhaps we come back down and we retest this level of strong support on the chart. Now, I wanna go and show you one last thing here. Okay, so first of all, let us go ahead and get ourselves the EMA ribbon because the EMA ribbon is going to, I need to fix my account there. Um, let's delete the 200 and that, okay? Let's go get the EMA ribbon. Okay, so EMA ribbon, guys, you can see there, this is now the daily time frame. The daily time frame, we broke down there, we crossed over there, we're now pushing down, we've hit resistance hardcore here again. The RSI is pointing down, so that's one, two, three things that are telling me that we are actually going to be coming to the downside. So hopefully this downside movement is actually a fake out, but not only that, we were also rejected at the, at the top end of this pattern here, which is in alignment with the ribbon, plus my 50 moving average, so guys, it's looking very, very bleak for the um, for the Bitcoin price, especially on the weekly. On the weekly, guys, this is not a healthy candle, but it is a slowing down candle, um, essentially. But yeah, I mean, you don't want to see this candles push down even more because then if it does, that is a heavy, heavy, especially because we closed under the ribbon here. And we're starting to kind of pull back down, which would be very unhealthy on the weekly time frame. But thankfully for the RSI, we are looking a little bit oversold and we are looking to push back up to the upside. Guys, you have been absolutely incredible being here with me today. What do you think is going to happen to the market? What are your thoughts about um, BlackRock and the SEC delaying the uh, ETFs once again? And what do you think that the Robinhood buyback, share buyback is going to do for the crypto space? I would love to know what you guys think down below. And then last of, lastly, of course, do you think Bitcoin and crypto will continue to thrive amongst the trillion dollar asset values in the entire crypto space where do you think crypto will be by the end of 2025 let me know down in the comments below thank you for being here with me today appreciate you all you blessed and beautiful souls and we will see you on the next one and make sure to watch this one because this one was even crazier nuttier than this one thanks guys we'll see you later bless